Hey, what's up, friends? <clears throat> well, this is the first fish I've caught in this spot. <clears throat> We're at 203-182 here at Tunguska. So let's go ahead and see if, it looks like we've got two fish on now. Let's go ahead and see if we are actually catching the fish that we're targeting. Yes, we are. Okay, so we are trying to catch the Siberian Sculpin. All right, so let's go ahead and get the, get the rod back in the water. We are at eight meter clip. And I won't be surprised if that is like the only thing we catch here. We'll find out though. I've never fished up here before. Uh, but it's good to see that it's still working. About a week ago, this was a spot. I, I remember seeing somebody posting like, hey, if you're trying to catch that Siberian Sculpin trophy, like to knock it off your list or whatever, here's a possible spot. So I, I never did make it up here to try it. So I wanted to try it. Now, again, here we are on the, on the map and bark beetle larva. This is the recommended setup in terms of, see we're using that invisible micro line. It's mono, but it's so tiny. Um, in fact, if we had a huge spool of it, we can fit over a thousand meters of it on our Lacerti, 4,000, which is funny. But um, anyway, we're using 24 hook with bark beetle larva, not larva. Now the difference here moving left to right is this has got 22 size hook everything else is the same and then this has 20 hook everything is the same so what i'm trying to figure out here is do you have to use size 24 hook which you don't because we've already caught one on the 22 hook but will we also catch it on the 20 hook and if we do will it in fact be chance of being larger Right? So, so far we've got one on each. The largest one was actually on the smallest hook so far. So we'll try to keep tabs on that. And, um, all right, here's another one. Sort of right around the same size. And we are, again, eight meter clip casting out pretty much just south. I mean, just kind of right here on the shore in front of us. So one thing to notice, this is the size 22 hook. One thing to notice is, and right at that same size. So at this point, we've got two fish on the 24 and 22 size hook, right? And zero on the 20 hook. So 20 may be the cutoff where we no longer, no longer see these guys. The discouraging part here is we're not seeing any markers. So I'm really curious, like, is there a time of day? Let's see where the, um, what size do these get up to? These little weird looking things. So, I mean, we, I don't know if 50 gram is trophy size. You would think so if it's weekly of all regions, but everybody's catching them on the same thing. Um, you know, we, again, we just haven't seen any markers yet. But they might be a nighttime fish. Actually, if I'd, I'd say if they were a nighttime fish, yeah, maybe they're like middle of the day. I, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know when the markers come in, if they do at all. Maybe they're rare to come in on that right size. <clears throat> Another one at that same flipping side size. Um, so. By the way, this is kind of the kind of the exciting thing about this game, right? It's like, no matter how long you've played it, there's probably countless things that you've never done, like targeting these little fish. I think I'm going to start like actually aiming a little farther left. I was trying to look back if I could find the <clears throat> the write up on this spot. Hey, first marker was on 22 size hook, okay? And that one was actually chat worthy. Yeah, I'm gonna start casting like straight in front of us. That one was actually chat worthy. Okay, another marker and 22 gram is now our, is now our personal best on these guys. I need to be careful not, about not overcasting. Let's 
gonna pop back so far it's not worth it yeah I'll probably just recast this one actually we don't want to cast it far Now, uh, digging a little deeper, I might have loop rig on all three, and that's honestly more of an accident than anything else. Last time I used my bonus since I had loop rig on, and I just didn't change it. So I doubt that matters very much, but um, all right, that surely has a fish on. All right, there's a 21 gram. So our record is still 22 gram. I have a feeling that unless there's a cafe order, I have a feeling these are gonna be worth pretty much nothing. But I could be wrong. But that's okay, sometimes it's just about the adventure, right? Yeah, I was going to see if I could, while we're waiting on a bite, scroll through on the VK site and just see if I could find it. It's probably been a week ago that somebody posted about that, that this spot. And I just kind of filed it away in my to try later file. Um, but let me see. In fact, the one thing that I'm, I can't remember, but I feel like somebody might have, I don't even remember if the post was about this site. Somebody might have posted about a different site, a different spot for different small fish and someone added this spot to their comments. I, I might be remembering wrong, but I just wanted to see if uh, this short a clip is what everybody was doing. I think it probably was. I mean, we're on them, so. It's funny how much attention gets spent on eels in uh, on the VK site. I guess people that are leveling. Okay, so like this site. I mean this this post. Yeah, yeah. This one talks about eight meter clip too. Okay, so we, we, we're, we've got it. We're doing the right thing. The thing that we don't know is, you know, is there a certain time of day that, that the larger ones are more likely to come in? One minute, two minute, three minute, four, six, seven, eight. So pretty high f bite frequency thus far all right this might be a marker it's on size 20 oh that's our biggest one yet isn't it 27 and here's another question i haven't even looked at all the new bait fish they introduced but is this one of the new bait fish? All right, white bream, smelt, Siberian roach, Siberian gudgeon, Siberian char, rough, roach, perch, lamprey, lake minnow, gudgeon, gibble, crucian, bleak, clupinella. This is not one of the new bait fish. Poor sculpins. Sculp I just would love to see one like in the 40 to 50 gram range. I mean, I get that if like the weekly biggest ones were what, 51? Fifty-two is the highest. 52, 52, 51, 51. 
I, you know, I mean, I would have to probably sit here for a long time to catch one that big, but. Okay, so we just got to beat 36 to see U.S. Weekly. Which could be interesting. So, no upcoming tournaments still, like the weekend comps or whatever. They haven't started those back up yet. Maybe they're busy at work on uh, bug fixes and whatever else since Tunguska came out. Or maybe they figure with the excitement of Tunguska, it doesn't necessarily make sense to do. Do one of these. Do I still have where I can't remember. Maybe my picker rod ended up on my alt account again. Even if it did, that's okay. I'm going to turn my fan off. Okay. I feel like I have, um, I may log in and check. I feel like I have three, do I have three of them? Three bonus and pickers on my alt account. Wow, it has really slowed down here, hasn't it? So, do we think, well, let's see, what's the last bite? One minute ago? I guess it hasn't necessarily slowed down that much. yet it just kind of feels like we're in the beginning of a slowdown maybe i like it we need a lot more of those um those larva uh, they've been really good here and I'm only have 39 of them. I just, just gotta be more disciplined on digging. I refuse to buy baits, but, um, I do like digging for them. All right. I am going to log in over there just to check. I feel like this kind of fish these tiny little things with this like micro line. I mean, this is just made for pickers. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know if I'm willing to give up the bonus of the, um, the bonus and cause you could buy three of the cheapest pickers out there, right? That's why we're using loop rig. Cause we get the, the bonus to loop rig. I mean, that's why we're not just throwing long basic bottoms, even though we're not using ground bait or anything. Whoa! Uh, weird? A little weird? Just out of nowhere, another species shows up. Again, time of the day. I'm just so curious, like...
what changes with the Siberian scooping on time of the day. Now we could put these rods like to the side. I just hate to do that on a short clip like this. Um, to see if we can get a slightly more sensitive bite going, you know. But that's a little bit of a stronger pull than I'm used to. I, if this is one of these sculpins, this is good news. It's not though. Uh, okay. It's a little weird, right? I'm going to throw a little more south again. I'm also really tempted to like, while we're here, at least when they start biting again, I'm tempted to throw in like a, a bolo or even a telestick. All right, there's one. And um, see if we can't get it to bite, you know, on a telly. Like do maybe just a one meter just right out in front of us. Just like the current looks pretty fast. So just have to kind of keep up with it. Model ones. Zyman Vera CM80H. Huh. Interesting. Versa? Versa. Versa CM80H. I gotta check. I want to check that out. I'm curious what uh, what Nice is talking about there. I, I think it's a rod. He's comparing it to the Model 1, saying he prefers it to the Model 1, apparently. Which bell was that, by the way? Presumably it was this one, but don't know for sure. Ooh. Now, I haven't really caught these very much either, but... From what I've heard, they're kind of everywhere, like right near the shore. But yeah, I haven't really targeted those at all either. So people are saying in general, Tunguska is bad today, maybe because of the weather. Today is in this in-game day. It's pretty hot, considering that yesterday we had temps down to like four and five degrees. It is definitely a huge range of weather changes here. So it's kind of looking like... It's kind of looking like... Um, yeah. We're not 100% sure because we don't know what 19 gram is, but 20 gram appears to be the start of the marker. Of a marker one. 19 could be as well. We don't know. Okay. All the fish species are here.
I bet we will average about 30 silver per hour. <laughs> it could even be less than that. Like, I don't know. You know, these may not be worth anything, and we've caught so few markers. Golly, it's got to be a time of day thing, right? Or a temperature thing. Um, I really hope these guys bite through the night, because... We saw a few early in the morning, and then they just kind of slowly have died off. One, two minutes ago, one, four minutes ago, nine minutes ago, and then they were consistent. So doesn't it feel like we hit sort of a time wall? And it was like, okay, you might get a couple more, but not much. And we'll see. We'll see what the rest of the afternoon does. But that's the hope. All right. So, yeah, I have three... Bonus and picker rods on my alt account. One of them, I mean, and, and one of them at one point I had on this account, just one of them, and I think I sent it back. I don't know why one of them is, is sendable and the other two are not. Like, I don't think I purchased any of those with gold, but maybe I did and I just don't remember. And then I also have a Fortuna picker over here on this account, which is a nice little, nice little picker as well. But anyway, if you have pickers, if you, especially if you don't have bonusons, or if you just want to pick up three cheap pickers, I mean, this is like the ideal, if you're ever targeting this kind of fish, like, holy cow, this is the ideal type of fish to use pickers on. <clears throat> Which pickers will work on, you know, I mean, you can bream fish really well with pickers. So don't feel like you can only do these tiny fish, but they're ideal for this kind of stuff for sure. Well, let's, um, just while we're sitting here waiting, let's just do, do a little experiment here. Um, what kind of line do we have on here? 2.3, even that's, even that's small, right? And we just go double bark beetle larva. We won't do this for long. I'm just curious to see. Okay, so we are still catching them occasionally. Occasionally we're still catching them. So let's put this out here just a little bit, a little bit farther than that. Not too far, but like 40%. And then let's just watch it for a minute. Is it sitting? Yeah, it's sitting. We have slider float rig. All right, hey, that got a bite. That got a bite. Tow gun. Okay, about 40%. And we got to walk with it. This is our little uh, Siberia trophy. Rod. It is the ultralight. Now we want to start seeing that nibble happen. Come on. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to get too far away from our rods. Is anybody nibbling? Uh, I don't think so.
What would be great is if we had even smaller line. Um, I mean, we maybe not don't need that, but you know, to even use like that micro line we've got on the on the feeders would probably be even better. start getting another nibble. I'll try to be patient this time. And obviously this works so much better if we just use the bolo or match rod, but I was trying to get the telestick bonus. Try a little closer in. Let's just go about 30%. Maybe 35 would have been better. Okay, starting to bite again. Actually landed something. Heck yeah. Time of day, 1641. Size hook, 24. That was by far our largest. Nine grams bigger than our next biggest. Wait, let's go to telescopic, weekly. First, let's look at all regions.
Ooh, they're biting on fly. Caddis fly. Fly caddis fly. Fly caddis fly. That's interesting. making way more money with a shovel than we are with catching any fish just in terms of like value but this is pretty cool like trying to figure it out i kind of want to try the float again is that bad uh let's give it give it another minute maybe i will we'll grab a drink So if you've been reading in-game chat, which you may not have, but a lot of people are talking about how Tunguska is dead right now. And they're mostly these are folks that have been spin fishing, floating, drifting, spin fishing, um, trolling. But if you look at the weather, I mean, that's what's going on here. The, the change that they're seeing and, you know, there may be a way to adjust to the hotter weather and still do okay. But this spike is is running people off basically people are like for the next couple hours they're going to quarry or whatever and wait till it at least comes down a little bit it is especially hot right now thankfully it sounds like that the catfish have been doing pretty good at um October. So that might be, I might have another catfish video coming up. We'll see if I have time to try it. It is, um, it is amazingly slow right now. Like this is the time of day where you would expect fish to be biting, but just in general. Please be one of the fish we're right nah, it's a smelt or something. Oh, a nice two gun, two gun, tow gun, whatever. That's the first, uh, I think that's the largest one of those I've ever had. Wait, what is the float doing? It's just drifting. Okay, we're good. So all that talk about the weather, all I'm saying is who knows? 
these fish might respond better to a little bit cooler temps too. We might have had a little more active uh, day of fishing them. The marker percentage might be slightly different. You just never know. I mean, you won't, I won't know unless I test it. But it's very possible that the... Um, Wait, did I look at overall telescopic records for these? I did, right? Caddisfly egg dough? Mayfly bloodworm. Hold on, let's try. I just, I'm, I'm curious. Anytime something says egg dough, it's worth trying because I have like, oh, I don't know, 84,000 egg dough. Actually, that's, that's true. You can, you can see it above my picture right now. I have 84,000 egg dough. I wonder if I should just double check nothing silly is just sitting on this line. Still drifting. We do have a fish on the first line, it looks like. Wait, are we getting a nibble? I don't think so. All right, I think as fun as it is to try egg dough, I think going with something like the blood worm I really should keep my two, my three feeders in, but it is kind of fun. Let's, um, what was the second? Sometimes things do respond very differently to, yeah, this mayfly larva blood worm. That also sounds promising to me. Since we're about to get a bite on one of these boonisons, let's just stand right here. Just keep it going back and forth right in front of us. Now, we have a tiny hook on there, but I guess it's possible. Oh, we're getting a nibble. There we go. I was going to say it's possible with the mayfly larva. We could attract something a little bigger, a little not quite what we want. Look at that. Neither line is moving. I'll be surprised if that wasn't at least a, a um, regional telescopic record that two goon but maybe not there we go weekly record oh yeah come on be a sculpin sculpin me sculpin me game we are on the we are on them Uh, that's an interesting question. Hmm. What should you get after Tagaras? So the important question is, um, Important question is what do you want to catch beyond is it just me or is it has it not been drifting with the current for a while? <laughs> that 
That's awesome. Come on. A lot of times float fishing is harder at night and I really want to get a sense if or things just react differently at night to float sometimes and I want to get a sense if we're getting like any kind of bite rate on these at night so we're gonna switch back sorry this is so long I hope you don't mind this I just really wanted to dig into this um, this one species and kind of see what it did And they might not bite at night. I mean, the cold hard facts are they might not bite at night at all. And if, if we're getting zero through the night hours, then I will, I will end this video uh, fairly soon. But I am hoping, note to self, I need to buy more bark beetle larvae. I am hoping that they will keep going. Okay, so there's a decent one coming out there. It's not a marker, but it's close. It's as close to a marker as we've gotten without it being a marker. So that 18 range. Um, so here's the answer that I would have though. Long term, my only thought is that if we do get deep sea fishing, of some sort slowly saving for conventional is a consideration no not necessarily confirmed but one of the things they have talked about But that's like long term. Long term thinking, most likely. Not to stress over, but just keep in back of your mind. I remember two to three months ago, I played regular, asked them on the bingo thing when they were on Sabirsky on Twitch. They said they are not planning it. Oh, okay. I did not see that. Way back in the day, it was one of many things on the idea board. But that doesn't 
mean it will ever happen along with fly fishing bass fishing etc etc personalized boats etc etc so who knows I know one thing we need here. Yeah. I I look, I have no insight on deep sea fishing or whatever. But if you're not planning on doing more fish, at least in the similar size range to your largest catfish, to your belugas, the really big sturgeons and stuff, I don't know. Like, I feel like that is what those conventional reels are for. And, and I think we've seen it in the past where sometimes they'll release equipment or release things that while it does work on the current content, sometimes it's preparing you for stuff that's down the line. That's all I was saying. I mean, I have, again, I have no insight. I could be totally wrong, but when you see those, especially the heavy conventional reels, and you just think about like strapping those in and trolling in the open water, Uh, so if you really like telly, spend some silver on nice ones, even UL or heavy ones. But if not Telly, you could test Bolo, but I would work on leveling to get to match as quick as possible. And you can get some inexpensive bolo rods, get a feel for what bolo rods are like, and just keep working on match. Spots with decent, um, decent tagged, decent percentage of tagged fish wherever it is, and you can use Bolo or Telly. Just seems like higher. Quality fish give more points. I leveled float at Saversky and Ak Tuba primarily, at least lately, because of. Um, silver from decent fishing spots but 
Tunguska is awesome. So if whitefish keep biting here, I would get a couple decent bolo setups cheap and and do that. Sorry for speaking and typing at the same time. Okay, so it's one in the morning. Well, we had we had one two minutes ago. Let's give it another couple of minutes here. I guess what I'm saying for people, like, you know, that's why that video I posted, what's it been, just a few days ago when I unlocked sandwich bait, what I was basically saying is if you're level 30 and can get, get to Tunguska, to me, for right now, that kind of replaces Seversky and Octuba in terms of exciting places to level up float because in in like in that spot I was showing in the video and in other spots like it from the shore whether you're doing it with Telly or Bolo although admittedly with the current and everything it's a little easier a little more straightforward with Bolo you are not only catching a lot of different species and high quality and what I mean by that is a lot of high percentage of markers which is a good it seems like it increases the amount of times you get points but you're also making such good silver Such good silver. Okay. I mean, I'm not saying they won't bite at all at night, but it, obviously nighttime is not the ideal time for these fish. I, I think we'll get another rush of them at like four or five in the morning. But all that being said, you get the idea. Here's a spot to, to catch the Siberian sculpin. And from what I've seen, I'm getting more and better sculpin on the size 24 and 22 hook. Size 20 hook has not seemed to make a difference. It's slower bite rate, and I'm not seeing any higher percentage of markers or whatever. So I would just probably do all size 24s and, um, and it seems like that's probably your best bet. Okay, so let's wrap it up. I mean, we've spent, we'll see, we'll see what this fish is. We've spent almost an hour talking about these little fish that I'm assuming aren't going to be worth anything. I guess that's one thing I could do. We, since we've gone this long, let's just run back to the, that's a long run, isn't it? Let's don't do that. Let's actually don't do that. I will try to remember in the comment section to post approximately how much these fish are worth um was that a sculpin it was so they are still occasionally biting at night so like i said if i was you if you're trying to do this in this spot or another spot with these guys i think i would go instead of 20 i would go at least two of them size 24 And uh, maybe 122 just to try to increase your chances a little bit. I really like these setups. They feel like they're doing good. Are there things we could tweak? Maybe. Uh, I guess you could always try like your smallest fluorocarbon line, see if that makes a difference. I don't think it will, but it could. Um, you could play around with different types of rigs. I have no idea that there's any kind of ground bait these guys would respond to. I mean, they bite off worms primarily, bark beetle larvae at least, so you would obviously want to do something very wormy. You could try it, you could test it, but I, I, I'm guessing this is the way to go, but um, time will tell because people will keep experimenting and we'll find out. But hey, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to sit here a little bit longer, but then I'm going to probably go work on some cats, see if I can catch some nice cats. We'll see though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.